Hey, what's up? Yeah, I know, I know, no weird, esoteric, Marble Hornets-esque intro this time. But as you can probably see, I am injured. Now, if you're a hardcore operator like me, you go hard in the paint and everything that you do. And sometimes that includes drunkenly jumping around alone in an empty mosh pit. And sometimes when you drunkenly jump around alone in an empty mosh pit, you injure yourself like an idiot. And when you hurt yourself like an idiot, that can put your airsoft on hold. But at least this finally gives me an excuse to talk about everyone's favorite pastime. Chairsofting. Chairsofting is the fine art of airsofting without actually airsofting. For many people, this can actually be the vast majority of airsoft. And it can be a valuable skill to have when you find yourself unwilling or perhaps unable to actually go out and play with all those toys that you've spent so much money on. So today, from the comfort of my own easy chair, I'm going to talk to you about the finer points of being a good chair softer. In order to effectively chair soft, you have to have somewhere to talk about airsoft. So make sure to join every Discord server, Facebook group, and subreddit that you can find. And maybe even a forum if you're like the one geezer in your area who remembers that those used to be a thing. Once you've joined said online discussion spaces, make sure to present a know-it-all personality in the most grating and unfriendly way possible. After all, it's not like you're actually going to see these people on the field ever, so you might as well whip out your e-penis and tell everyone to suck it. No one cares about some idiot on the internet with nothing cool to show off though, so while you're sitting on your ass not using all the really expensive gear you already have, be sure to cruise your favorite online retailers to buy even more shit you'll never use. Bonus points if you milk your purchase before even making it. Accomplish this by bugging everyone with asinine questions about every little thing you're thinking of buying but probably never will. Also be sure to argue with everyone about what will work best in all the fields and events that you've never been to and will probably never go to. And then, finally, when it's time to buy something, ignore all the advice that you've been given and asked for and make sure to just impulse purchase a bunch of garbage. With these impulse purchases, your goal is to hoard a collection of gear and toys that will forever look brand new. Just make sure to take them outside every now and then for some photo shoots to convince yourself that it was all totally worth the money. And then use that gear to flex on all the pores and all those groups you're in and to let everyone know that you are credible. However, a large part of credibility is, believe it or not, actually knowing what you're talking about. Luckily, you do know what you're talking about. You know that you're always right. So, this will naturally lead to a lot of arguments with your fellow chair softers, and that's the point. The blood sports are a crucial part of internet discourse. Your goal is to be the champion. Start lots of arguments about why everything you don't like is the worst, and deflect all criticisms away from everything you do like. Get into all the spicy drama that you can, and feel like part of the inner circle by including yourself in everyone else's arguments. And if you have any long-standing grudges or issues with any other members of your local airsoft community, make sure to air that drama out for everyone on the internet so that you can give back to the never-ending cycle of drama and intrigue that is airsoft on the internet. How do people on the internet know that you're an airsofter, though? It all starts with your profile. Make sure that you have a profile picture that lets everyone who sees it know just how hardcore you are. For guidelines on how to best achieve the ultimate operator appearance, please refer to the previous lesson. <coughs> who cares if normal people, such as your coworkers, friends, family, and potential dating partners think that you're a psychopath or a weird loser? Let's be honest, you're not getting any hits on that last one anyway. Make sure to put call sign, milsim, or your team name in your Facebook or Instagram username. And be sure to post the same photos from the same event for months at a time. Bonus points if you're not even posting pics from an event because you quit your last event early. Where it's really at is posting staged photo shoot pictures from the same photo shoot until you have your next photo shoot. 
The running theme here, as you can probably tell, is to look like you play a ton of Airsoft while not actually playing Airsoft. But you have to stay abreast of the latest happenings on the field somehow. And how do you do that? Simple. Subscribe to every Airsoft YouTube channel that you can find and live vicariously through all the people who are going out and doing the thing that you are either unable or too completely broken to go do. In conclusion, employ these tips to keep yourself sane while you're cooped up indoors away from your one and only hobby that matters. After all, there's nothing else you can do while stuck inside with a broken ankle. Hello? Hey babe, I heard you were cooped up all by yourself. Do you want me to come over? Thank you for watching this video from Gun Gamers. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Check the description below if you'd like to buy a t-shirt or a patch, and use the coupon code JUDY10 for 10% off of your next order at Amped Airsoft. Thank you again for watching, and praise Judy. Because I'm terrified of human connection. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I got it. Fuck. There's so much shit. Every, everyone say, everyone say thanks, Kaylee, for the Marvel blanket for this video. It's, yeah, I think it really adds a lot here. I hope this doesn't get copyright claimed by Disney.